Just as the summer crowds are getting ready to visit, a safety threat has forced the closure of part of world-famous Wiccaninish Beach near Tofino. The military is now preparing a landing on Pacific Rim National Park at Long Beach to sweep it for buried bombs, leftovers from training during the Second World War. A Parks Canada volunteer found an unexploded mortar earlier this year, and the park staff is now taking no chances with your safety. CTV Scott Cunningham has more tonight from Tofino. Over here is uh, the area that's been identified as, as the uh, grenade pit. So Tourists get a different view of Wiccaninish Beach. Walking tours come with warning signs as military officials fear something may lie hidden beneath the sands of Pacific Rim National Park. There were mortars and other things used here in the dunes that uh, may have been missed. A military history here in the sand is literally being unearthed. Last year, a retired park warden found this unexploded mortar in the dunes. It was safely detonated before it could hurt anyone, but its discovery lit a fuse. Military officials say needs to be snuffed out. This area was used as a training area by the Canadian forces. The restricted area is called the dunes. In the 1940s and 50s, it played host to thousands of soldiers destined for theaters of war in Europe and the Pacific. The sands, a perfect place to test some of Canada's most deadly weapons. Several, you know, grenade pits. Uh, there was a rifle range that was used with uh, high caliber uh, rifles. Um, and there was also uh, mortars that were used. Before the park was founded in the 1970s, the military swept the area. And again after the mortar was found last year. But prone to powerful storms, experts say the area's shifting sands could reveal more. I'm just happy that the, the risk has been identified and that they're taking the necessary precautions to make sure that uh, public safety is uh, at the top of the list. Military officials are not yet on the ground doing sweeps for unexploded grenades and mortars. Right now, the Department of National Defense is doing a different kind of digging for information from the 1940s and 50s to see exactly what type of training went on just outside of Tofino. Before the military rolls up its sleeves to search here, they will pour over the military legacy of Vancouver Island's west coast, gaining a better understanding of the past before dealing with the present. We often think of our national parks as, you know, pristine and untouched places, but in many cases, you know, parks had past histories and this is you know, one of those past histories. The guns and bombs are long gone, but their effect is not. Military and park officials will speak to the public next week about the upcoming work in the dunes that is expected to stretch until the end of the summer. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Tofino.